The AND gate is one of the logic gates, which allow computers to make decisions and carry out tasks. Like all logic gates, the AND gate works by controlling the flow of electricity in a circuit. It takes two inputs, and it produces one output. Its inputs and output are binary, meaning only two values are allowed, 0 or 1. In positive logic circuits, a zero is represented by a lower voltage level, often close to zero volts, and a one is represented by a higher voltage level. Here's the AND gate's truth table, which shows the output it produces from every possible combination of its inputs. From the truth table, we can see that when both of its inputs are zero, the AND gate will produce an output of zero. And even if just one of its inputs is zero, the AND gate will still produce an output of zero. The only time that the AND gate produces an output of one is when both of its inputs are one. Like all logic gates, AND gates can be built using transistors. One popular type of transistor is the MOSFET especially enhancement mode MOSFETs. They come in two types, NMOS and PMOS. We can save the detailed discussion of these transistors for another video, but for the purposes of this video, we can think of them as being switches, which can either connect or disconnect different parts of our circuit. At a high level, both NMOS and PMOS transistors have a gate, source, and drain. And by changing the voltage at the gate, we can control the connection between the source and drain. In this video, the gates for both types of MOSFETs will either be connected to ground or to the circuit's positive supply voltage, VDD. These two voltage levels allow us to distinctly represent 0 and 1. So with NMOS transistors, when the gate is connected to ground, the source and drain will be disconnected. But when our NMOS's gate is connected to VDD, it will cause the source and drain to be connected. And with PMOS transistors, the opposite will be true. When our PMOS's gate is connected to ground, it will cause the source and drain to be connected. And when our PMOS's gate is connected to VDD, the source and drain will be disconnected. NMOS transistors are better at connecting outputs to ground, so we'll use them to output zeros. And PMOS transistors are better at connecting outputs to VDD, so we'll use them to output ones. Knowing this, let's look at this design for an AND gate, which uses these transistors. In this design, the inputs and output always come from either ground or VDD. So to see how this design works, all we have to do is analyze how the transistors are connecting or disconnecting the different parts of the circuit based on the inputs, and from there we can see whether our output is connected to ground or VDD. So let's see how this design matches our truth table, and for each entry, it will be helpful to analyze this design in two stages, with the intermediate output of the first stage being the input to the second stage. Keeping in mind that ground represents 0 and VDD represents 1, let's examine the first entry in the truth table. When both inputs are 0, it will cause the PMOS transistors in the first stage to connect the intermediate output to VDD. And since that's used as the input to the second stage, it will cause the NMOS transistor in the second stage to connect our final output to ground, producing a result of 0. When input A is 0 but input B is 1, we still have one PMOS transistor in the first stage connecting the intermediate output to VDD, which will again cause the NMOS transistor in the second stage to connect the final output to ground, producing a result of 0. And when input A is 1 but input B is 0, the other PMOS transistor in the first stage will connect the intermediate output to VDD, which will yet again cause the NMOS transistor in the second stage to connect the final output to ground, again producing a result of zero. But when both inputs are one, it will cause the NMOS transistors in the first stage to connect the intermediate output to ground, 
This will then cause the PMOS transistor in the second stage to connect the final output to VDD, producing a result of 1. As a side note, the two stages in our design are actually two logic gates themselves, NAND and NOT, which we'll be discussing in future videos. And it's also important to notice how the NMOS and PMOS transistors complement each other throughout this design. When the PMOS transistors connect an output to VDD, the NMOS transistors disconnect that same output from ground. And when the NMOS transistors connect an output to ground, the PMOS transistors disconnect that same output from VDD. So this design ensures that each output is always connected either to ground via the NMOS transistors or to VDD via the PMOS transistors, but never both at the same time. And we call this complementary MOS or CMOS. Now that we know what goes into an AND gate, we can simplify how we draw it in our designs and just use its symbol shown here. In future videos, we'll see how we can use AND gates with other logic gates to build more complex circuits which form the foundation of today's computers and digital electronics.